Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video we are going to be showing you the Western Digital Passport. And I have it plugged into my computer, but it is not showing up on Windows 7. I have Windows 7 here. Again, it is plugged in and the cable is fine. The light is actually lit up right here. I can feel it humming in my hand, so the hard drive is moving. The software, everything checks out okay. Again, it is plugged into my USB port on my computer here. I do have another one plugged in underneath, but what happens is that I've read, and if you guys are wondering, this is, and again, this is my passport, WD Western Digital My Passport. So what's happening is I'm coming up here, and I'll go ahead and push this here, and then of course, you know, we'll come up here to computer, and again, this is Windows 7, and right here, okay, so this is the one below the Western Digital, that's a Samsung drive, that's linked in right there. And these are my other drives here. I got my floppy disk, my CD-ROM, but I do not see my Western Digital Passport right here. It just doesn't pop up. The drivers have installed correctly, and it was just kind of plug and play. The drivers came up. I even have a shortcut for my passport. It says it's in working condition. So this video is going to show you how to have it pop up right here. Now, to tell you the honest truth, I found this, and my best guess is that this person had the same problem or just decided to get rid of it but I found this dumpster diving it's everything is checking out like it should it should work alright guys after doing research there are a couple options to figure out your problem and to get Windows 7 in my case or Windows 8 in your case or whatnot to recognize your Western Digital Passport so first thing I would recommend is if you have anything in the other USB ports and I would unplug those so that you just have the Western Digital again sitting right here. Now the other option I've re researched is if you have an iPhone charging at the same time, unplug your iPhone USB. I have my docking station plugged into the back, unplug that as well, restart it, see if that works, see if it recognizes it. If it doesn't, and it did not in my case, so I'm going to take it a step further, we're going to switch over to screen capture, so I'm going to show you exactly what to do now. Alrighty guys, so what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and come on down here to the Start Windows button here. We're going to click that. We're going to come up here to Control Panel. Click that. And by clicking, I mean left click. You're going to come up here to, and you're going to see your computer settings in your Control Panel. Yours should look like this. You want to come up here to Administrative Tools. You want to double click that, and it's going to come up right here like this. Let's go ahead and enlarge that. Then you want to come over here to Computer Management, double click that, and this is going to come up right here, Computer Management. Now in this box right here, Computer Management, you're going to come down here to Disk Management, Disk Management, right underneath Storage, Disk Management. If you don't see Disk Management, go to here to Storage, hit that little arrow, and then double click Disk Management. This is going to take a second to load up, just like mine, okay? Now, as we can see, I have my C, my main drive with my Windows installed on it. I have my separate hard drive. Then I have, you know, my small itty-bitty 100 megabyte, blah, 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 capacity. Now, as you can see, this drive right here does not have a letter associated to it. It's healthy. It says primary partition. And guess what, guys? Dun, 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 dun. There is my passport right there, 500 gigabyte because they take quite a few gigs for the all the programs installed in it, etc. There might be something on there as well, I do not know. But it says 100% free, so that is my WD Passport. So the reason why it's not showing up, it does not have a letter associated to it. Look at this, guys. My book, E, C, we need to associate a letter with this. So for some reason, it does not have a letter associated with it. So right now, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, guys, so we have two options here. I'm going to have to go a little bit further, but you might be able to do it from here. Now, again, we're looking at this blank drive right here, and, of course, it doesn't have a letter next to it. We need to assign it a letter. The only problem in my circumstance is, of course, now, as we look down here, again, this is disk 2, again. This is the WD Passport. It's listed as a primary partition. Now the problem with a primary partition is you cannot reassign a letter to it, unfortunately. So 
So you would come up here and you would right click, again right click, and if you can, if this is dark black like this here, change drive letter and paths, that's what you want to do right there. You want to left click that, rechange that to let's say G, F, whatever you want, and then you either have to restart your computer or it should work after that, after again you change drive letter and paths. Now in my circumstance, it is a primary partition. Windows 7, you cannot change the drive letter or pass because it is listed as a primary partition. Again, I found this hard drive while dumpster diving. Someone protected it, which is very good because if there's any sensitive information on there and you just wanted to throw away, so be it. But I'm trying to use this for my personal videos and storage. I need to change this from a primary partition. I need to go ahead and change that and so that it does not list it so I am then able to change the path. So just follow along now and it shouldn't be that hard after doing some research. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to the start button again. We're gonna hit this in the search bar down here, in the search bar bottom left. We're gonna go ahead and type in lowercase cmd. All right. Okay, guys, now we see CMD up here, programs. Okay, whatever you do at this moment, don't push enter. Don't skip ahead. You got to listen to these directions pretty carefully here, guys. So as we can see, when I scroll my mouse over CMD, it highlights. Again, do not push enter. Do not click anything. But instead, we are going to push on our keyboard, control and shift at the same time. Okay, now listen carefully guys. Control and shift at the same time, we're gonna push them down, and while they're held down, we're gonna then push enter. So again, just put your mouse over this until it's blue highlighted. Now I'm gonna push down control and shift at the same time, and while they're holding down right now, then I'm gonna push enter. Then this comes up right here, guys. Okay guys, now this pops up here. Yours might look a little bit different, but my settings for administrator are a little bit different. Again, yours might not say users and then your name. Yours might say Windows System 32 right here. So ignore this, but what we want to do now after this little arrow here, so right after this little arrow here, we're going to type on our keyboard disk, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, disk part disk part again. Okay, now after you wrote in disk part, we're gonna push enter. Yours might come up automatically, but mine did not, so I'm gonna push enter now on my keyboard after disk part, enter, okay. Now we have this right here, disk part. Okay guys, so after we hit enter, then this comes up right here. Again, we're gonna have to push enter after disk part, then this comes up right here. Now we see disk part in capital letters with another little arrow here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna label it list disk, list disk, and we're gonna have a space between list and disk. Now we're gonna push enter. Okay, now this comes up right here, disk number, status, size, et cetera, et cetera. So right now, all of my hard drives are online. I have three hard drives running right now. I have the first one, of course, the 698 gigabyte one, is my number two, which really they label it as number one, but this is the one that does not have Windows 7 running on it. Now, this one right here, 465 gigabytes with zero free, that should be my one running Windows 7. But again, my WD Passport is also 500 gigabytes, and that I believe was disk number two, and yes it is. As I look right below the screen, disk number two is my WD. So disk number two online, 465 gigabytes is my WD. Okay guys, this part is very, very, very important here. So right now I'm just going to forewarn you that if you want to keep anything on this hard drive, if you have important photos, if you have really important information, find out another way to do it. It might be possible but you want to make sure that you back up anything on this hard drive before you proceed to the next. Again, because the way we're going to do this, again, I found this dumpster diving, so I don't care what's on this hard drive. 
and it looks like it's brand new. It looks like the guy already wiped it. So by doing this, we are going to be wiping it and relabeling it. Again, so make sure you identify the proper drive. Again, mine is disk 2, but make sure you do not wipe your hard drive with Windows 7 on it, etc. Okay, so identify the drive. Then, when you have identified the drive and you're 100% sure, then you're going to come up here. So again, mine is disk 2. This is my WD. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we are going to select disk 2. Again, yours might be different, so double check. I'm not going to say that enough. So now we're going to write in select disk 2. Enter. Disk 2 is now the selected disk. Now we're going to have disk part again down here. Okay, guys, now right here, after it says disk 2 is now selected disk, right here, we're just going to go ahead and list disk again, pushing enter. List disk and push enter. Okay, now we see right down here on the command line, we see a little hashtag star thingamabobber next to disk 2. This has prompted us knowing that disk 2 is the one that is selected. Again, if yours is not disk 2, go back and redo it until the highlighted one has this little star next to it. Again, that is our WD in my circumstance only. Yours might be different. This is just a tutorial video showing you the steps. So now here we have disk part again down below. We know that disk 2 is the highlighted one that we want to clean. We want to wipe, remove this primary partition, and reinitialize. So now what we're going to do... Alrighty guys, now comes the clean part where we are going to wipe it completely because what I'm about to do is going to erase everything on the selected drive right here with little star. Okay, so after this part again, lowercase, right clean, C-L-E-A-N. Now we're going to hit enter. Once we hit enter, it will be gone forever. So I'm going to hit enter now. Okay, that took a few seconds, as you guys saw. And this part succeeded in cleaning that disk. Now look at disk 2 right here. Right here, completely wiped, okay guys? So now, you guys saw that, it went black. Again, it takes a few seconds. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to reinitialize this thing, and we're going to get it back online and get it going here. Alrighty guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to go in there and reinitialize it, so right after this this part, you can write exit. E-X-I-T, enter. Leaving this part, users Jordan, we're good to go. Alrighty. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to X out of that. We're going to leave that. Okay, so mine is open right now, and we're going to actually click out of it. And so now we're back to the very beginning start page here, because we want the computer to detect that we're trying to get it going here. So again, control panel. Mine is right here in administrative tools. Yours might have to go to a system and security, but mine is straight into administrative tools. We got computer management. We're going to go ahead and double click that again. We're going to come over here to disk management right here. It's going to take a second. And now right here, this comes up, guys. Initialize disk. It automatically detects that there is disk 2 needs to be initialized. So this is very good. You must initialize disk before Logic Disk Manager can access it. Okay, so now what we're going to do. Now we have disk number two. We are going to go ahead and hit OK, MBR master boot record. We're going to go ahead and hit OK there. OK, guys, after we hit OK, what we're going to do now is if you just sit there and wait, nothing's going to happen. So now what we have to do after we hit OK, we're going to go ahead and right-click the one where you want to do. So disk two again right here. And you can just right on this little box here. We're going to right-click. You're going to see new simple volume. We're going to click New Simple Volume, Welcome to Sim New Simple Volume Wizard, and we're going to go through all this stuff here, Maximum Disk Space, Simple Volume, blah, 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 next. Assign the following letter to the drive. Now, this is what we want to do here. If you guys already have one, it kind of already puts one up there, so I'm going to go ahead and just use F because, let's see here, well, no, Samsung, my other one is F. We're going to do G. We're going to do G on this one. 
doesn't have to be yours doesn't have to be G but we're gonna do G now if you guys are a little bit more advanced you know you can use some of these do not assign a letter to the drive path you want to skip that so again assign the following letter drive G we're gonna hit next and this next one here format partition if you guys again are a little bit more advanced I'm gonna go ahead and just keep all these same ones that the installation wizard has already applied for me I'm gonna go ahead and hit next to close wizard finished you have successfully completed the new simple volume wizard and we're gonna push finish guys so now it's lit up blue 465.73 gigabytes and again the whole point of this video guys is we took off the primary partition the protected partition and again if I can't say it enough I did receive this I found it dumpster diving you might have got one from a friend etc if you buy it in the store it's not gonna have that protective thing on there but mine did so now it's formatting here so we're just gonna let that format for a little while now it's healthy primary partition G so again guys now it's back to primary partition but I have assigned a letter to it it says G it's healthy etc now if you ever want to do this again and it causes you different and you want to assign a different letter I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to do it now let's try it out new volume G okay so now it's not protected guys so I can actually change it right here now change drive letter and paths etc guys so someone put a very uh, encrypted uh, encrypted thing on there but we were able to hack it so we are definitely pumped up and excited about this guys so now obviously we've come down to the final moment where we need to check and see if we are actually registered so let's go ahead and get out of this real quick alrighty now the time has come guys we're gonna go down here to start we're gonna left click start come up here to computer left click start lo and behold guys we are so excited oh my gosh there is new volume G now I, I'm pretty sure you can rename that if you want to rename that see right here we're gonna go ahead and put WD passport and hit enter and there we just changed the name again if you want to change the name left click it one time it highlights it put in the name push enter and then it is G right here guys we are so excited there's the system information and to show you that it does work guys let's go ahead and put my video a uh, boom right there guys it copies to it we can play it straight out of it there's my video we are so stinking excited guys it worked we have successfully dumpster dive found a hard drive that someone threw away we have hacked it and we are now using it for our computer hopes this video helps guys I'm sorry it's so long I'm sorry I overstated many many things but I want to make sure you know what you're doing because a lot of videos out there guys people think you already know what you're doing but I am totally a newbie so I need things explained to me very very clearly so I'm hoping I'm doing that for you please thumb the video up guys if it helped you if you're looking for something else and it did not help you please don't just thumbs the video down because other people that it might help will be affected by that by more thumbs downs it won't be in the search engines as well so I appreciate you guys please subscribe I got a lot of other videos on the way thank you so much and I have links below where you can purchase Camtasia Studio that I used recording this you guys have an awesome day hope your WD Passport works for you take care bye bye